Okay, beginning turn number six with Arjun. And in the last turn, Alyssa gave him this uh, potion of rejuvenation that allows him to flip up an unused power at the beginning, or well, rather during his hero phase. So he's just going to do it right now. So he's going to spend this potion to flip over his uh, uh, precise strike. So Arjun didn't need a to uh, didn't need a healing surge, and now he's going to move to an unexplored edge up here and check out that area and see what we get. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we got a white tile, so we're not going to have to have an encounter, which is good because we can't cancel it. And now we're going to have to start going this way. But let's update. Uh, and let's draw a monster for Arjun. He gets a spider. These are not the worst, but they're like the high end of the one hit point monsters. So we'll place that down on the bone pile, and let's uh, update. So he can't attack because there was nothing there, so he cannot get a treasure item. He did explore, he got a white tile, he got a spider, none of that, no encounters because it was a white tile. So the gargoyle is still there, and now we have a spider as well. So the gargoyle perks up, looks around, and does nothing. Because if it's not, if it's too far away, it just doesn't do anything. Now the spider, on the other hand, is not adjacent, so it's going to use its second ability <clears throat> to uh, do its, ex its acidic web. So it's going to attack Arjun with a plus 11, so that's going to be pretty hard for it to miss. So, Spider attacks with a plus 11. Oh, finally. So it got a 1, so 11 plus 1 is 12, so it easily misses. And anything happen on a miss? Nothing happens on a miss. So that's really good. I feel I feel quite lucky because I don't I can't remember the last time I've seen a monster miss, especially one that's got like a plus eleven. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be the end of Arjun's turn, and now Alyssa's going to get to go. Unfortunately, she's not going to be able to make it adjacent to that spider to ping it. With that, I mean, she can move twice, but if she moves twice, she can't attack it. So, I think probably we'll have Alyssa just move twice and then explore, but I'll, when I have her move twice, I'll put her adjacent to that spider. Because when the spider attacks, if it's adjacent, it actually, it gets a plus six. Now its damage is a bit worse because it does two or one on a miss, but at least it's only a plus six, so it has a higher chance of missing. Um, and by the way, I forgot to update. So when she sprung back to life, she used a token to do that. And she now has four hit points because that's her surge value. So I forgot to update that stuff on the last turn. So this turn, she does not need to use a token, but she's probably going to move twice, right? She's going to have to. Let's see. Let's see how far she can move. One, two, three, four, five, six, right. So she can't get to an unexplored edge unless she goes around this way. Is that worth doing? Because then maybe we can meet up up there. I don't know if I want to split the party, though. She moves one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so you can easily make it to this tile and explore. I could have her start going this way. But I feel like keeping the party together might be the best thing to do. Let's see, how many tiles do we have out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's very likely that we're going to get the chapel. I mean, it's it's inevitable that we're going to get the chapel between the uh, ninth and twelfth tile. We've already drawn nine, so the next tile is going to be ten. So it has to be the 10th, 11th, or 12th, so it has to be the next within the next three tiles. So, 
would it be worth having her come down here and explore? Mm, actually, maybe not, because if that is the chapel, then we're going to bring out three monsters when the when the chapel comes out, and Arjun's going to have to make his way all the way back down, so let's not do that. She's going to move twice. She's going to move twice to be adjacent to the spider so that she can ping it. Um, yeah, let's have her do that. All right. So she moved. She moved again. No treasure. Uh, she will explore using her scout. So let's see if we're at the chapel. Not yet. Okay. So it's a black tile. So let's place a monster on the tile. See what we get. That's not a monster, that's an encounter. Spider. Darn, this sucks. Because Arjun has a spider. If Arjun had drawn the spider, we would discard it. But since Alyssa drew it, it's the worst possible scenario. So Alyssa draws a spider. And if you don't know this game, you don't know why this is so bad. So she got a spider. No conditions. She does get an encounter. And she has the zombie. And a spider now. We'll get to why that's so bad here in a second. Alright, first of all, the encounter. Green slime. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. Luckily, that's just her. We can't cancel this, so it has to play. If the active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one card, one treasure at random. Okay. So this is going to attack Alyssa, and it's going to do damage no matter what. And it's a 17, so it does the most damage. It does two, and she's gonna have to discard a treasure. So four, two. Ugh, this game is so brutal. If the active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one treasure at random. She has two treasure cards, so usually I just go odds and evens. So if I roll an odd, I'll discard this one. If I roll an even, I'll discard that one. And it is an even, 18, so that was odds, this was even, so we get rid of the glyph of warding. That goes away, and that encounter is over. So now her villain, uh, now the monsters in her villain phase activate. So first of all, the zombie, and the zombie is not close enough to do anything, so it's just going to move one tile closer. Bone pile to bone pile. Uh, and now her spider is going to activate. And if the spider is within, if it's adjacent, it does that. If it's non adjacent, it does the second one. So it's going to do the second one. And it's going to get a plus 11 on that. Actually, I don't know which. So th the problem is both spiders are going to activate. I don't know which one activates first. Um. I kind of almost wish the other one would activate first because it's already adjacent to her, but I, I don't know. We're just going to have the new one activate first. It's a 6 plus 11 is uh, 17, so that's going to be enough to hit her. So when it hits, it slows her down, and you place the spider adjacent to the hero, so the spider hits her and sort of like retracts itself into her. So that does one damage and slows her down. So she slowed. And she's down to one hit point again. And slowed. And yeah, and the thing that really stinks when you have multiple monsters of the same name is that when multiple monsters of the same name are on the board at the same time, they all activate. So that means 
Arjun Spider gets to activate as well. It's adjacent, so it's going to get a plus six. I think it kills her no matter what, right? Yeah. Misses, it does one damage, so it doesn't even really matter. Rolls 13, so 13 plus 6 is 19, so it's going to hit and do 2 damage, which is enough to take her down for the second time. So Alyssa goes down. So we'll knock her over. And yeah, that's gonna, going to be the end of turn number 6.